Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 and game 5 of the Chess Nerd Rapid Chess.com tournament thing on Chess, I just said Chess.com <laughs> We're on round 5, I'm tired, I've got a bit of a cold going on so apologies But, but we're on 3 points out of 4 so far, sitting in 4th place And we have a Karo Khan, and we have a Tartakawa, if my opponent takes goes for an alien gambit line. I'm not going to provoke him. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, scary, scary. I could just go bishop to f5. And then go e6. The way that I tend to play against the alien gambit, right, is by not playing h6 and provoking them to take. Because the way that I see it, if I play h6 and my opponent takes on f7, I weaken my light squares drastically because both of these pawns disappear essentially. So I found the, a good way to go about it is just to let the knight sit there for a bit because it's not doing anything. The only good thing that it does is tries to make you go h6 so that it can take on f7, which is dubious anyway, but I really struggle against the alien gambit. It's actually viable. I would not be shocked if my opponent still did it though. He doesn't yet. I'm going to go bishop d6, just because knight to e5 is a very common idea in this opening. And I'm just going to play normal moves, like, and just ignore the knight, basically. <laughs> That's just how I like to go about playing against this opening. It's not the absolute 100% best way to do it. But... Accepting the gambit, although the computer really likes it because it's objectively good, it is terrifying, and I really struggle. So I just don't bother. I just don't bother. Like, what's the point? Let's go knight bd7. I'm. You'll notice I'm not committing to which side I want to castle yet because I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and my opponent hasn't committed either. So let's say like h6, knight a3 takes takes. There's a good chance that my opponent is going to put a rook on g1. Because he hasn't committed to castling there yet. There's a good chance that I go queenside. I would like to play knight to b6 though. To chase away this bishop. Because um, it's just putting a lot of pressure on e6 now. And that's the focal point of my opponent's opening really. To go after e6. My h4 wouldn't be a silly idea. Going after my bishop, because my bishop is defending e6. I'm just surprised he hasn't played that yet, to be honest. Kind of surprised. Although maybe it's not as good as I think it is. Whoa. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right, what do we do? If king e7, uh, bishop takes. That looks scary. G6. This is a scary diagonal. King f8. Takes, takes, takes. Rook e8. Castle should be okay. King g8 is not a good idea. Oh, I didn't think he even had a sacrifice here. It should be fine. King g6 is honestly tempting. <clears throat> honestly is. E4 looks good though. Try and kick my bishop away from this diagonal. I'm going to go to F8. I don't know if that's the best choice or not. Oh, if the bishop takes, I can't take though. Although, if the bishop takes, I could go rook E8. If bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, then uh, that's just a thought. That's not good. Um. This is scary still. I don't know how he's still managed to sacrifice, even though I've tried everything to prevent it. 
it's such a typical alien gambit thing that really is. I swear you just can't stop the gambit if your opponent is insistent on it. Like, they will find a way to do it in whatever form that may be. Um, okay. Rookie 8, Castle. All scary. Or that. That works. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? That just looks unnecessary. H6. Take, take. Here, here. That's not awful, actually. If here, here, we win this. I'm going to go for it. I don't think I'm blundering anything too serious. So, what what have we got? We're up a piece. We're up a, we're up a piece. We have two knights for a bishop and, like, a couple of pawns worse I think we should try and trade well he actually can't take because I would take check and win his bishop so that's good so I mean like well if he does this we can take here if he does this take take Take, take. Well, we actually don't have to take, though, because, again, he still can't take me. So if rookie won, we could go knight d5. And just put more pressure on. And also block the queen off. That looks pretty good. Here, here, here. Here. There, 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 sorry, there. Then, uh, we have an extra piece. Our king is still kind of weak, but we're doing all right. Um, I do like that. I have to be careful about b7, which is the only concern. <clears throat> but if my queen ends up on d7, that's still protected. And although my king is weak, we should be okay. We should be okay. Because at the end of the day, we will be up a piece, right? Sorry, I know I'm not <laughs> that lively today. It's just... um. Very difficult tournament. These are some really good players. Um, I don't know what the chess nerd has got going on over on his channel these days. But um, his subscribers are playing really well. Really well. So this is tough. Uh, G3. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like this one. Where takes, takes, takes. Because the king just moves and he's good. I don't think I like that. Could go knight f6, but... Good move again. Another good move. I think I'm going to do it though.
gonna try and open the F file. I didn't even consider that. I guess it's a good job I've got a knight to put there. Yeah, I've got to take with the bishop. This is scary. This is scary. My bishop is also kind of stranded right now. Which I'm not loving. Not loving. Currently though, my opponent only has one pawn for the knight. But my king is very weak. Very weak. It is no secret. <laughs> no secret. It is so weak. And my bishop is offside. It's very vulnerable to getting trapped. I might have to play c5. I don't know if I want to, though. Okay. Rook e7. Maybe I try and go like g4 and retreat the bishop to g5. That's a good move. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> C5 looks right. So I'm also trying to liberate my bishop, block the diagonal. A7 is hanging, which I don't love. I don't love it. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? This is just a threat. My king is so boxed in. Because let's say, like, takes check, knight e8, rook f1. Bishop f4. That might be the best idea. That might be the best I've got. It's not good, but... What? Am I missing something? Here. That solves all my problems, no? I feel like my opponent just threw the game away. If here, here. I control the E1 square. And if here, here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man. That's like a that's like a Morphe Opera House. No way. No way did I just get Opera Housed. That's unreal. That's unreal. Here I needed to find queen d6. Yeah, okay. Wow. Fair play to my opponent. Um, That was really impressive. I, I can't even lie. Which sucks because now we're on 3 out of 5, which puts us in 8th place. 
So we can't win this anymore. Wow. My opponent just literally did a Morphe Opera House on me. If you don't know what the Morphe Opera House game is, then, um, I mean, just search it up. It's dead easy to find. There's loads of videos on it. Oh. And C5 was a... That was a mistake? Really? Ah, I just need to boot the bishop away. That simple. Then C5. And then my king's okay. Well, ish. But this is no longer cut off. Oh, frustrating. Incredibly frustrating. But like I said, that was so, so nice from my opponent. I just didn't even contemplate that. <laughs> well, we'll play the last round. Um, winning chances are out the window. But you know what? My opponent just fully deserved that. That was such a nice game from him. He did very well to keep attacking me despite being down full piece. But damn, the alien gambit is tough, man. It is really tough to beat. And um, hopefully we can win our last game and make it four out of six for the tournament, which would be fine. That would be a decent result. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get absolutely destroyed at the end when I was so confident. I was so confident in myself. Um, I thought I was completely winning, but I was not. Even Bishop takes E8 losers for me anyway. So I don't know how I didn't realize this. That was silly. That was silly. But that's chess. And my opponent found a very, very nice move. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes of this tournament, check the playlist below. If you've already seen those, YouTube is going to be recommending you a video over here right now. So you should go click it because YouTube thinks you're really going to enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.